everybody, I'm Elizabeth. You're watching Elizabeth's Leaves, where I just want to talk about houseplants. Today, my goal is to clean off my back porch. Um, and by clean off, I really just mean like sweep it and try to organize things a little bit better. So let me show you the situation. All right, so of course, alocasia over here. This is my new plant stand. I want to put plants on that today. But really, I need to tackle this situation. I actually just organized this at the beginning of June, and it's already become a mess again. So this is my repotting station, propagating station, everything. Um, so it just gets really messy really quickly. And I'm not trying to do like a deep clean. I just want to make everything a little bit more accessible. But this is what we're tackling today, so let's get started. There's spiders and spider webs everywhere. So if you see me at any point freak out, it's probably because there's a spider. I thought this was really cute. I found this at a thrift store and I'm gonna make it into a planter. It's a lantern. But how beautiful would a plant be coming out of this? Two dollars. We got that for two dollars. can't tell it's not even eight o'clock yet and it is already super hot and humid So I've only been doing this for 16 minutes, which is kind of a long time, I guess, but it already looks so much better. Ha. 
I'm not going to show you guys cleaning up my yard where I put all that stuff because I just feel like that's not really what you're here for. Um, I'm going to go inside, get some of the plants that I want to put out here. They're plants that aren't doing so great inside. And we're going to move them out here and hope that they do a lot better. Oh yeah, that looks way better. And it didn't take much time at all. Okay, I'm going to go get the plants. Okay, I don't have too many plants to put out here right now, but these are the ones that I picked. So either they are struggling or they're overflow on my front porch because my front porch is really full right now. But any new plants I get go out there. Um, so I'm putting my asparagus fern back here because on the front it just doesn't seem super happy, but I don't really know what a happy asparagus fern looks like. So I really need to do more research on this plant right here. Um, the Hoya that was in my bedroom, I'll put the name on the screen for you. It hasn't been doing very well, so I'm putting it out here hoping maybe the humidity, the heat, and the light will help it thrive. But I have not lost the new leaf. A new little baby leaf. I'm so happy I haven't lost that. So hopefully it's happier out here. Um, I'm putting my pink princess back here just because it's overflow on the front porch. <clears throat> I just got this. This is a Syngonium Albo. And it's going back here just because it's overflow on the front porch. This was the Rabbit Tracks Maranta that was in my room. And it's getting too much light. So you can see how all the leaves are faded. That's because it's getting too much light. So maybe out here it's more filtered, not so direct like the grow lights in my bedroom. Putting my pickle plant out here because it is atoliated. It is stretching for light. I'm not really sure that it's going to get more light out here. But I'm going to try and see and hope that it makes it happier. And then I have a... Philodendron Mame and it's doing nothing. It's actually in my kitchen and it is doing nothing. It's sad. It's not crawling. It's trying to climb and its newest leaf shriveled up and fell off. So it's giving me another leaf, but maybe the humidity and the heat and the light because it's under a terrible grow light in my kitchen. It's just like the grow light in my bedroom. That's really awful. Um, I'm really hoping that's going to make it way happier. So we're going to put those on the plant stand. Okay, so not much. It's not full, which is good. Um, but I like it. I think it's really cute. Okay, thank you so much for coming along with me while I clean my porch, rearrange, and decorate my new plant stand. I really appreciate you coming and joining me today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.